physically today. The 1st Squadron 89th Cavalry Regiment held a spouse's spur ride on Wednesday, June 15th. Wolverine spouses, many decked out in Army combat uniforms, got to experience some of the rigors of an actual spur ride. But before the activities began, the spouses, or spur candidates as they were called, applied camouflage face paint to get into full warrior mode. The first challenge was to scale a cargo net wall. This turned into a team event as a few Wolverine husbands joined their spouse on the wall. After the cargo net wall, the spur candidates grabbed sandbags and made their way through an obstacle course, where, among other things, they low-crawled, balanced themselves walking across logs, and climbed over a seven-foot wall. The finish line for the obstacle course was a very muddy low-crawl. In the next exercise, the candidates took turns firing an M240 Bravo from the gunner's Tourette of a Humvee. From there, the candidates moved on to the first aid stations where they learned basic techniques like dressing a wound and performing the Heimlich maneuver. In the final exercise, the candidates were charged with disassembling and then reassembling several weapons systems. The candidates then got to try the weapons out. Despite her initial reservations about participating, Faith Caldwell, spouse of specialist Nathaniel Caldwell, enjoyed herself. It's pretty fun, actually. I thought it was going to be a lot worse. Um, I almost punked out, and I almost didn't want to do it because of what was on the paper. <laughs> but it's actually pretty fun. It's pretty cool. It's not bad at all. At the end of the day, the candidates formed up by troop, and after a few remarks from the squadron commander, Lieutenant Colonel David L. Sanders III, the candidates received their spurs. Thank you. Reporting for 2nd Brigade, I'm Specialist Candace Foster.